Good morning, everyone. Welcome into North Dakota Today. Farm in the Dell is helping transform disabilities through purposeful work with great produce harvested by even greater people. Executive Director Anna Sather joins us this morning to talk about their community-supported agriculture program. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. So nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Well, what a wonderful discussion we get to have. First of all, just tell us about Farm in the Dell. Yeah, so Farm in the Dell is a nonprofit. We're just north of Moorhead. We provide meaningful employment and uh, life experiences for individuals with developmental disabilities in a community farm setting. So they come out every May through October, and they run they run the garden. It's just such a beautiful experience. This is I, I always get so excited when you guys are coming on the show yeah. because it's just so incredible and it's you know a need that we don't even realize is there until we learn about it with people like you. So explain what the community supported agriculture program is. Yep. so our CSA program is a really unique model where instead of going to the grocery store maybe once or twice a week like yeah. you and I would, um, shareholders can buy a share in the farm early in the spring and then they receive weekly produce boxes from us during the growing season. So from mid-July through mid-September they're receiving produce from us from the farm. Um, so if we have a really bountiful year you're going to receive extra produce. If we have some damage because of weather there might be a little bit less but we're all in this together and it's such a wonderful model because um, actually a lot of CSA programs are kind of closing down but the model works really well for us because we have the workforce for it right like we have the individuals the garden engineers the individuals with disabilities who come out and work the fields and that's what they do they put the boxes together they grow the produce they they take they take care of the program from start to finish so it works really really well for us this is incredible. So what is included? What's planned crop wise? Is it different every year or what are, what are we kind of thinking for this year? Yeah, so we have a lot of the traditional backyard garden crops. We have yeah. over 40 crops out on the farm. So everything from tomatoes, carrots, onions, peppers, pumpkins, everything. Um, and so your box looks a little bit lighter on the early side. You're sure. receiving a lot of leafy greens and radishes and yeah. things like that. And then at the end of the season, you're going home with uh, 30 pound boxes of produce with a lot of um, potatoes and squash and pumpkins and things like that. So it's really fun because every week looks a little bit different. This is incredible. And I love the video that we're watching too on the screen right now to help paint the picture so beautifully. So why does Farm in the Dell feel that it's important to offer something like CSA, the community garden? Yeah, so the CSA is a really beautiful way to connect with the community. Yeah. We have 100 uh, families that we support through the CSA program last year. Uh, we're looking to possibly expand that a little bit this year, but we really feel a deep connection with them, right? They're learning where their where produce is grown, especially the kids, right? It's mm -hmm. a really wonderful experience. Um, a lot of our pickup locations are at the farm, so they can come out to the farm. They can really have that 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 handshake moment with the garden engineers where they're meeting the farmers who are growing the food that they're eating. They're seeing where the food is grown. Um, they're experiencing new produce, right? There's a lot of things that might show up in their box that they haven't had before, like kohlrabi and things like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love that. Very specific to here too. Yeah. I actually love that you said that. So how can the community get involved? Yeah, so on March 1st, uh, we are opening CSA shares to the community. We opened it to past shareholders in February. Okay. Um, but a half share. Um, feeds about one to two people um, every week and then a full share um, shares either three to four people or veggie lovers we say um, and then if people do like to process food and you know freeze dry it or freeze it or blanch it and um, can it whatever that's a that's a good model for them too is the full share mm -hmm. so um, I encourage people to visit the website to learn more half share is $399 full share is $599 how long have you been with farm in the Dell one year well, only one year yeah. oh my goodness you are rattling yeah. this stuff off as if it's been you know 10 years or something <laughs> no Oh, that's incredible. Really, I mean that as a compliment. So let's talk about the meaningful employment and what you truly provide in our community and why that's so important. Yeah, so I like to say that we provide three things. So um, there's there's laws exist that allow businesses to pay individuals with disabilities far less than minimum wage. Mm. So we make sure to change those numbers. Wow. In the state of Minnesota, uh, we're making sure that they're making above minimum wage, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. Um, number two, we provide them a space to learn and develop skills. So we're teaching them how to use their hands, how to use tools, how to communicate how to work on a team. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that we go over and we were really intentional about the things that they work on throughout the season. And thirdly, and my personal favorite, is we're really a space for them to feel loved, respected, valued, and cherished every single day. Which is all anybody on this planet wants. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so how do we register for CSA? How do we get signed up for that? Yep, so if you go to farm.lrrv.org, you'll find all of, our, all of our information on there. It's spelled out pretty clearly. Um, and there's also an FAQ on there too, if you have questions. Oh, perfect, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. Thanks for having me. Of course, we're looking forward to growing season and just, you know, some warmth, some sunlight. We're looking forward to it all, yeah. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Of course. All right, stick around. Plenty more coming up here on North Dakota Today, including checking in with our chefs at Cooking with Cashway.